fans. Yes, Tripoli for this fight. He's uh, trained alongside Manny Pacquiao in Los Angeles, in Las Vegas. Hopefully to imbibe that kind of work ethic of Pacquiao. Okay, we're about ready to introduce the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WBO World Bantamweight Championship. Let us first welcome the challenger from Tepic, Nayarit, Mexico. When I was a kid, I used to enjoy fighting, having a good time fighting with all the kids in the barangay, in the streets. And I, I just like it. The first time I, I put my gloves on, I felt this feels really good. I think I, I like it. I'm 100% of my capa capabilities of what I can do. We, we also see He's ready to go he is definitely psyched and not intimidated by this philippine crowd who is of course going to be behind casimero oh you know tremendous discipline that he has shown because in his last three fights he fought at a weight limit of 122 pounds. That's the super bantamweight weight division. But he has gone down in weight to fight John Riel Casimero, and he has made the weight easily. Yes, he came in at 117.6 pounds, and now we're going to go back up the, to the ring, who's going to call the champion. And now let us all welcome here on stage the defending interim WBO World Bantamweight champion from Merida Leite Cabaliwan. Janriel Cuadro Alas Casimero. Mm, gusto ko talaga ang magboxing kasi lahat ng sport o basketball parang mas mas madali lang sa akin yung boxing kaya tuloy tuloy ko na yung ano career ko sa boxing. Si Sarah Mires na magaling din siya tapos yung Nakita ko yung last fight niya ng ano, yung championship na laban nila ni Brunette. Lamang tayo sa kanya kasi parang marami na akong experience na makalaban. Salamat po sa suporta. Sana i-pray niyo ako sa manalo tayo. God bless po. Thank you. John Real Casimero about to do his walk-in. And you know, Kinito, everybody agrees, Casimero, an incredibly talented, tough, strong fighter. He's proved this, especially when he won in Argentina. Remember when he withstood that riot? And he's, he's fought in several countries. Well, and he's faced a lot of challenges, Diane, throughout his career. And he has survived a lot of very tough situations. As you said, he did win that fight in Argentina. He won in Nicaragua, he won in Panama, he won several fights in Mexico, he has won in the U.S. But then, he has also lost fights that he should have won. Yes. And now, we're wondering, what kind of Casimero is going to be in the ring to face this big challenger, Cesar Ramirez? Well, you know, he has a tremendous opportunity here in this fight, Kenito, which I hope he's prepared for. As we know, the winner of this fight is going to get the right to face the regular champion Tete from South Africa within 90 days. So Casimero has the chance to become a three division world champion. That's right, there aren't too many three division Filipino world champions in history. Of course, we have Manny Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire, and Dani Nietes, and John Riel Casimero certainly wants to be able to join that elite cast. Now we're gonna hear the national anthems from the Philippines and Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, we're requesting everyone to please rise for the singing of uh, the Mexican National Anthem.
please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be led by deaf and NCR Grand Choral Soprano Soloist and European Concert Tour member, Miss Sheila Faliar Kuna. Magidiw, pelas ng silanganan, alab ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig, di ka pasisil, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bugaw. May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal, ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y Tagumpay na nagdilingling Ang bituin at araw niya Kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng luwal At itpagsinto Buhay ay longit Sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag May mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, from San Andres Sports Complex here in Malate, Manila, Senator Manny Pacquiao's MP Promotions, ABS-CBN Sports and Action in association with Sandman Promotions and Global Boxing Stars, sponsored by Innovate Motors, Wow Pilipinas, and Cobra Energy Drink are proud to present an evening of professional boxing for the interim. WBO World Bantamweight Championship. This is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization Supervisor Mr. Leon Panoncillo. Alongside with the Games and Amusements Board Chairman Abraham Khalil B. Mitra, Commissioners Ed Trinidad and Marma Sangid, and Chief for Pro Boxing and Other Contact Sports, Jackie Cacho. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest in the 10-point must system will be from Australia, Philip Austin, from Japan, Masakazu Mukase, and from Puerto Rico, Gerardo Martinez. And when a bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, ladies and gentlemen, from Puerto Rico, Ramon Peña. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, let the war begin! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, green, with maroon. Official weight, 117.6 pounds. He has an excellent professional record consisting of 18 victories, two defeats, with 11 of his big victories coming by way of knockout. From Tepic, Nayarit, Mexico, the current WBC Fecom Box Super Bantamweight Champion, Cesar Perico Ramirez. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, black, and silver. Official weight, 118 pounds. He has an excellent professional record consisting of 27 victories, 4 defeats, with 18 of his big victories coming by a way of knockout. He is the three-division world champion and the reigning and defending interim WBO world bantamweight champion from Merida Leite Cavaliwan. Ladies and gentlemen, General Cuadro Alas Casimero. Once again, to give instructions, there's referee Ramon Peña. Casimero, second principal. Okay, gentlemen, you received the instructions your corner. Remember, protect yourself and respect my commands all time. Touch gloves and God bless both of you. Well, you know the kind of rivalry and battles we've seen in the ring, Kinito, between the Filipinos and Mexico, and we're expecting 
this fight to be the same. There you go. We have the challenger Ramirez, 31 years old. Casimero, 30. Ramirez, the much taller fighter. And yesterday he came in at 117.6. Casimero eventually made it to 118 limit. But as you said, Ramirez is undefeated in three years, Kenito. That's right. And the height is unknown. Well, actually, he's 5'6". And uh, we also want to make a change here. He has lost three times. But uh, the record is correct. 11 knockouts in 18 wins. As you see, Senator Manny Pacquiao. Round number one. And uh, Mayor Chavit Singson at ringside. Here we go, 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WWE World Bantamweight Championship belt. The winner will face the regular champion Tete from South Africa. But you see that Ramirez is a very wiry, long-limbed fighter. Yes, certainly oh. much taller than Casimero. What an explosive start here for Casimero, who really likes his right hand, as we've seen in previous fights, Kenito. Well, Casimero is a very, very aggressive fighter, as you see. He's leading off with the left hand, but his right hand is always stuck. That's yeah. the big punch that he wants to unload. That right hand, it can be either a right straight or a right hook or a right cross. And you can see Ramirez, they're using his height advantage there with a the jab early on. But uh, Casimero wanting to let his power be known early, it seems like. But you also see the left hand of Casimero dangling Ready. sometimes <laughs> down his sides, opening him up for a possible counter overhand right coming from Ramirez. Well, you know, as we mentioned earlier, Ramirez has come down in weight. He has fought in the 122 pound division in his last three fights, I believe, and he's come down to uh, challenge Casimero here in the 118 pound division. Casimero looking to shorten the distance between him and Ramirez. He's moving in, looking to unload those short punches. Ramirez, I, you know, I expect him to throw that left jab a lot more. Yeah just to be able to throw off Casimero's rhythm. Well, you know, yesterday he said he's a very versatile fighter. He can be a puncher, he can be a boxer. Moves well, got boasted of power from both hands. Let's see. As we get into the last uh, minute of this first round. Oh, you can see both of them just like, oh, with so much energy. But right now, Ramirez is fighting a very defensive fight. He's moving away, taking a step back. Now missing with a shot. He looks very tentative at this stage. Yes. We're talking of Ramirez. And of course, uh, Cuadro Alas, the Filipino, trained alongside Manny Pacquiao in Los Angeles and in Las Vegas when Manny was preparing for the Keith Thurman fight. Run with him, did some uh, mitts with him. Oh yeah, very tentative Ramirez. Looking a little bit unsure of himself at this point. Right hand scored there by Casimero. Ramirez very quick on his feet, moving around uh, Casimero. And Casimero has uh, 18 knockouts in 27 wins. You can see as we hear the bell to signify the end of round one. First three minutes of the round, Kenito. How did you see that? Well, I thought Casimero showed much more aggressiveness. Ramirez a little bit tentative, taking a shot to the midsection that time. Casimero Again, landing with, with the right. right there, yeah. I thought he was varying his punches, Diane. Upstairs, downstairs. And there you see Ramirez taking a deep breath. You know, his body looks a little frail. Oh, it was very frail yesterday at the weigh-in. Uh, there, while well, uh, Manny, we see Manny Pacquiao there and uh, good friend Chavit Singson waving to the crowd. And very uh, exciting bout here that we've, uh, that Manny has come up with. And there you see uh, and the we, senator. We, and we really have to thank you for making this all possible. It's free to the public. Free to the public. Here yeah. we go, round two. Casimero, the Filipino, is the interim WBO world champion fighting to hopefully get a chance to be regular champion. That, that long reach, Diane, of Ramirez may be a bit of a problem here for Casimero, especially if Ramirez starts using that left jab. Well, he's going to have to come in quick as the shorter fighter. You can see him trying to duck a little bit and to get under the, under the shot. I think the key word here for Casimero is pressure. 
he needs to put a lot of pressure on uh, Ramirez, put him on his back foot, put him against the ropes, and get Ramirez to fight the tempo of Casimero. I think at this point, yeah, uh, Casimero should be a little bit more aggressive to, you know, to solidify his his control of the fight. Let he, let Ramirez feel his power early on. Third man in the ring, of course, is from Puerto Rico, Ramon Peña. Got an all-star cast here among our judges. Yes. So Casimero was formerly the light flyweight title from 2012 to 2014. He also held the IBF flyweight title, which he vacated to move up in weight. Now hoping to get a chance to be a world champion again. He's 30, 30 years old. You know, I'm seeing that Casimero is having a little bit of difficulty here with his timing. And it may be also because of the weight problems that he had. So it's important that he gets his timing on track so that his, his reflexes are able to react very quickly to whatever opportunity he can seize inside that ring. Yes, he's not quite getting his rhythm yet. He's, as you said, Mexicans are very wily uh, type of fighter. But you know, we're seeing very little offense from Ramirez. True. And he's yeah, looking like still trying to find his his offense. Casimero must be loving this fighting in front of his hometown crowd. Now, one thing about Ramirez is that he's used to going 12 rounds. In his last three fights, two of those three fights actually went to 12th round before he scored a knockout. And then his last fight, he went 12 rounds. So this guy is used to going the distance. He's a survivor. Missing on the right. But Ramirez trying to be more aggressive now, Kinito, but still missing. Slip. There's a slip. Slick spot there in the corner. End of round two. Okay, is Scott Farrell, head of production, making things happen here. Scott Farrell, yep. <laughs> Motioning to, uh, oh, the Manny Pacquiao oh, look alike. Oh, wait a He's sitting beside the Manny. <laughs> He's not fooled, right? He knows where the real <laughs> yeah. Manny Pacquiao is sitting. As we go back to the action from the second round, short stabbing le left hook from the Mexican there. Misses on that right. Nice head movement on the part of Casimero. Yep. And uh, evaded that right yeah. there, and there's the slip. Ramirez Oops. failing to connect. You know, earlier we saw Scott Farrell. Of course, Sean Gibbons also playing a major role in making this promotion happen. Yes. MP Promotions head Sean Gibbons. Hello to all our viewers from around the world. Also, hello to Mrs. Jinky Pacquiao, who I hear you is watching with good friend Roy Bacalso. And also to my good friend, Antolentino. Nice overhand right scored there by Ramirez. And Casimero, you get the feeling that he wants to turn this into a brawl. Yes. You know, he wants to turn this into something that will make him feel comfortable inside the ring. I don't think Casimero is comfortable fighting from a distance. He needs to be able to get inside his opponent's head, inside the strike zone, and start throwing those combinations. He wants to throw bombs. That's Casimero's style. Yep, and he wants to win impressively in front of his countrymen. Now he's measuring his opponent. Oh. He's moving in, but he's got to be careful. Ramirez looking to counter. Quick movements there from Casimero.
Ramirez is not in a hurry. He's not even throwing those left jabs. He's looking to counter. He knows that Casimiro is going to come in. So when he does, he's going to be prepared to throw that right. And for Casimiro, once he comes charging in, it can't just be one shot. It just can't be the right hand. That time, a oh, nice left hand. That was, that was Beautiful left that hand. Was down. Beautiful left hand. Nice counter there. Perfectly timed. And Ramirez says, you know, sometimes when you, when you get hit in a certain spot, yep. Kenito, you can't help yourself. You just go down, as we saw. Now Casimiro looking. I thought it was an excellent feint by Whoa. Casimiro. Ramirez thought the right hand was coming, and so did we. All of a sudden, he threw the left hand and catching Ramirez off guard, putting him down on the canvas for the first knockdown in the fight. Beautiful variation from the Filipino, Casimiro. Last 27 seconds left in round three. And you also like the patience here of Casimiro. He's not. Yeah, doesn't he's seem not to be reckless. Rushing. Yeah, he's not getting careless. He's got a knockdown here, but he's not rushing things. He's looking for the right opening, the right opportunity to put his man away. And if it doesn't happen, he'll wait another round. So happy to see Casimiro focused and really. Waiting for the right. <laughs> and that rust wrestling move ends round three. So very good round there for John Real Casimero scoring one knockdown, and we're gonna show you that in a bit. And let's relive the action in the previous round. That time, Ramirez scoring with the right hand. So Ramirez misses, and then Casimiro perfectly times that left, and you can see his knees buckled, and he, yeah. he just went down. And then a little bit of wrestling towards <laughs> the end of the round. OK, there's, there's the MPBL commissioner, Kenneth Duremdes. Captain Marbell himself, the PBA <laughs> legend. For our fans around the world, uh, Pacquiao also has his own basketball league here in the Philippines, aside from producing this uh, boxing promotions. Now, Cesar Ramirez, he has not lost in his last six fights. His last loss was in 2016, three years ago, in a decision lost to Ryan Burnett in England. Ramirez thinking that he needs to be more offense-minded now. He's throwing that left hand, the left jab. Confident Casimiro, but as you said, not rushing, taking his time. But Casimiro is not throwing any jabs. He's looking for a big punch. He's looking for the killer blow. Yeah. Now Ramirez. Starting to get his punches together, trying to show some rhythm here. He's well, boxing Casimiro. While Casimiro wants to punch, not box. He wants to throw the big hands. Mexican corner cheering him on. Very determined fighter as we know Mexicans to be. You want to get back in this round after suffering a knockdown in round three. Ramirez looks at his corner, has uh, two children, all back in Mexico. He says they're his biggest inspiration as he tries to land some shots here. Not too much activity on the yeah. part of Casimiro in this round. Yeah, surprising. It looks like he's pacing know? himself. Yeah. We're in for the long haul, and you know that Casimiro he also likes to go distance. Last fight, it took him 12 rounds to take, a, to take care of Ricardo Espinosa to win the interim WBO Bantamweight Championship. Wow, 
fighters seem to be just pulling yeah. at each other. Ramirez moving forward. Well, there's Casimero now with uh, 25 seconds left in this round. Well, you know, this Ramirez round is up for grabs. Ramirez. Yep. Whoever is able oh, to throw more Ramirez punches here towards the end right. can get this round. 10 seconds. Actually, this is a good round for Ramirez. Yes. I will give him this round. Mexican bouncing back from a knockdown in the previous round. Well, Casimero somewhat silent in that round, Kenito. I was surprised. Well, he might have also thrown a lot of punches in the previous round, so he wanted to conserve his energy. It's a long haul. We're going 12 rounds here. Action from the last round. Ramirez, the taller fighter, goes to the body. JC Mananquil of Sandman Boxing Promotion, enjoying the action. Scott Farrell. There's the Mexican corner. A really good sized crowd here at the San Andres Sports Complex for our main event. Philippines versus Mexico. Diane Castillejo with Kenito Henson proudly. of John Riel Casimero. He sort of took the previous round off. Yeah. He coasted in round number four. Now in round number five, there's a slip. There's a slip. Oh, they oh, call a call knockdown. A knockdown they call a knockdown. Ramirez is not happy with that call. Oh, he, they call a knockdown. It. Well, that was a flash knockdown, but referee Ramon Pena must have seen a punch. We didn't see it. I didn't we see didn't it see the here. punch. But he must have seen it very clearly because he was very decisive in making that call. He called the knockdown. Ramirez now down twice in this fight. Let's see what Casimiro does from here on. Two knockdowns for the Filipinos so far. Nice right hook there. That's a big one. That's a big punch. Casimiro, another right. R oh, oh nice, nice shot. Nice. Wow, solid right for the Mexican. Ooh. Now that got Casimiro's attention. Yeah. This is getting interesting, Tanito. Uh, and both fighters now throwing bombs. Whoa. This is the kind of action the fans came here to see. Now, combinations coming from Ramine, Ramirez. Remember, he went down. Yeah, in he's, he's going to want to get back. Casimero now backpedaling. Huh. Yeah, you would think that Casimero would be a little bit more aggressive after. Right punch block, and there's a double jab there. Ramirez gets through. Casimiro backing up. Now you see the height difference yes. between the two. Clearly, the much taller fighter is Ramirez. Ramirez using his reach. Ramirez showing a little more confidence here as this round progresses. Well, he, he needs did, to. Yeah, he did he go to down. Up. He did go down early in this round. But he did also catch Casimiro with Big. some nice combinations. There he is throwing his left and right. Casimiro's holding on. Oh, Casimiro with his back against the ropes gets out. Ramirez last 10 seconds of the round. And Casimiro needs to pick it up defensively. Now we need to watch that yeah, I knockdown see that once knockdown. more. Referee Pena calling a knockdown very early in this round. Ramirez not happy with the call. We're going to have a look back at that knockdown in round five in just a minute. Here it is. 
Oh, it was a hit in the back of the head. Well, there was that shot, the right hand. But that didn't cost the knockdown. And then there was that there was big punch, big, right? the right hand. Yeah, you can see that wobbled Casimero. So from that slow-mo replay, as you see Sean Gibbons, head of MP Promotions. Yes, being very busy for this fight card. There is Senator Manny Pacquiao, the man behind it all, and Chavit Singh Son. But that knockdown that the referee called might not have been a legitimate knockdown. Could have been a slip. Anyway, the call will stay. And now we're in round number six. Okay, middle of the fight now. I thought towards the end of round number five, Ramirez came on strong. Okay, so the referee there warning Casimero about locking the head of Ramirez. There's the solid left from Casimero. He tries to follow it up. Now Ramirez is within Casimero's sights. That's where he wants Ramirez. Crowd getting behind Casimero. Ramirez needs some distance. A nice shot to the, to the body by Casimero that time. See, when there's distance, Ramirez is able to use his reach to tag Casimero. So Casimero has to come closer Close it in. to Ramirez, put his head on Ramirez's chest and wail away. Nice shot to the body there by Casimero from short distance. Ramirez answers. Not much sting in his punch, though. I thought I saw a little bit of uh, some sign of fatigue in the side of Ramirez in the last break, but as you said, he's known to last 12 rounds. He's a survivor, but I also see a little bit of blood coming out of the nose of Ramirez. One minute to go in round six. You know, the way I see it, Casimero is conserving his energy for that big punch. So he's not throwing any jabs. He's really looking to load up. Just one big punch to looking put the Mexican the... away. Right. Oh, Ooh, nice shot. That was a big Ramirez. right from Ramirez. That time oh, he another right. Oh, Ramirez now pouring it on. Big round here for Ramirez. Casimero backtracking. And Casimero forced you, to hold on. Yeah, you can see he's feeling these punches and the, oh. Mexican corner getting really excited. Another strong right from the Mexican. Sparring it on Canita right here. A big round here for Ramirez. That time Casimero throwing the right hand. Crowd loving the action. This fight is not going to go to distance. No, oh, nice both. shot. Casimero, one. one punch after the other, along with Ramirez. What action we're watching. Okay, we're going to listen in to the corner of Casimero. No audio right now, though. Okay, let's have a look back at that action-packed round. Casimero with a strong right to the body. And then the big right oh, hand big right coming from, from Ramirez. Ramirez. But the end, I thought Ramirez took that shot to the body really well. This guy can take a punch. There's a right hand coming from Ramirez. I thought that was a good round for Ramirez overall. Although Casimero made it a little close toward the end of round number six. Now we're in round number seven. Stamina coming into play here as we go into the second half of this bout.
John Real Casimero and Cesar Ramirez fighting for the right to find, fight the regular champion Tete from South Africa in the bantamweight division. There have been two knockdowns scored in this fight so far, both by John Real Casimero oh, nice in the third right. round and the fifth round. In your right, Canito, blood from the nose of the Mexican as Casimero let out a strong right-left combination. Again, Casimero needs to come closer to Ramirez, while Ramirez needs to fend him off, keep him away, get that distance so we can score that right hand. But I agree with you, he's just looking to unload that right, looking for the right time. But we know the Mexican heart. You know, we were talking about how Casimero may be conserving his energy for the big punch. I think it's the same thing with Ramirez. He's not throwing the left jab any longer. He's also looking for that one punch. He knows that he's down. Yeah, he has to come up with something big. Exactly. He's now, he's been down twice. He knows oh! he's down on points. Wow! There we go. That was a solid right from Casimero. And Ramirez holds on. Whoa. Both fighters are down. Referee pulling them apart. Solid. Oh, unbelievable. What a heavy hand that was. You also see that Ramirez is breathing from the mouth. He's having difficulty breathing because of the blood. Oh, another out of solid his nose. right from, Cas Here from we go. Casimero. And he's down. Oh. He's down. They're going to call a knockdown. Wow. A solid. Casimero went through the ropes there. But Casimero needs to be in a neutral corner. He needs to be in a neutral corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> Referee didn't see it. Another big punch coming from Casimero. There's blood. Oh man, this is all heart now yeah. for the Mexican. Whoa! Another, oh boy! Did One more big punch, and this could be it. Oh, the mouthpiece. Oh, the mouthpiece. Okay, they call Taibé back again. And he's oh. really on shaky legs. Ramirez. Oh boy. May not know where he is at this point. He's what? on rubbery legs. What a round for the Filipino genre Casimero. What a bounce back round for Casimero. All heart, all power. And watch it right here. Oh, there's another big left there from Casimero. That was the big punch, the right hand. And then Casimero. As we were saying, he needed to crowd Ramirez, get into his chest. And a big punch there, scored by Casimero with a left hand. But look at that fighting spirit from the Mexican. Wobbled, almost going down, but keeping himself up. So Ramirez has now gone down thrice in this fight. Three knockdowns have been scored by Casimero. And the crowd is on its feet here at the San Andreas Sports Complex in Manila. We are into round eight. Three knockdowns scored by the Filipino. Ramirez is still on shaky legs right here. And for Casimero, Looking for a couple of big ones. To He's looking off. for the coup de grace. He's looking oh. to win this fight. Oh, nice. Nice shot there by Ramirez. Ramirez fights back. Oh, look at Ramirez. Oh, what a heart. Mexican warrior. Whoa. All of a sudden, Ramirez exploding and catching Casimero. You can see Casimero also breathing hard. Yeah. Though. We threw a lot of punches yeah. in the previous round. That was a very strenuous round for him. And he was looking to knock out his opponent, so the volume of punches yes, that he had him. really went sky high. Yep, mouth open, got a deep breath. That took a lot out of him. Right, you can see him. Yeah, both these fighters, I think, are out to catch their breath. Oh, a solid nice. uppercut. Casimero. Casimero is moving in. 
but he can't get careless. Casimero has a tendency to open up once he moves in. And Ramirez is a very smart fighter. Crowd is loving this fight. Left and right combo from Casimero to the body. It's Ramirez coming forward, but he gets tagged by Casimero. You see the legs of uh, Ramirez are very slim, especially his calves. He's letting his hands go, but not much power behind that shot. But he wants to stay busy to signal to Casimero that he's, he's still in this fight. Again, you like the patience of uh, Casimero, not rushing things. He had his opponent almost out on his feet for good in the previous round. But he wants to make sure that he's got gas in his tank. We are scheduled for 12. We are in round number eight. Well, you know the tremendous energy it needs to, you know, to let out those oh, punches shot. in boxing. Look, that was a solid right from Right hand. And Casimero. Answers back. Beautiful upstairs hitting from the Filipino. Getting a lot of adrenaline from the crowd, both fighters. Take a look back at the last round. Oh, solid left there from Ramirez. That was the shot that Ramirez threw that caught Casimero. You know, this is turning out to be a battle of attrition. Although Casimero way ahead on points at this stage with three knockdowns scored in three different rounds. Round nine. Ramirez is pace. showing he still got it. He still has yep. some stuff left. Tremendous durability and heart. I mean, we thought he was almost going. What was that, round seven? That's right. That's, that's when he went down. He went down in rounds three, five, and seven. Through the ropes. His nose has been bloodied. He's had difficulty breathing from the nose and from the mouth, but he's still standing up. He's still throwing. That's Cesar Ramirez, the Mexican gladiator. Now R Ramirez oh, nice connecting shot. with the left and the uppercut. Casimero looking a little shaky here. Oh boy, what a fight. Taking some shots. Casimero showing some signs of fatigue. I thought in the during the timeout just before this round started, I heard him in his corner taking really deep, deep breaths. breaths. Yes. And he was gasping. So again, stamina, resistance. Is he in condition to go 12 rounds? He had difficulty making the weight in yesterday's weigh-in. Right, and Ramirez having to come down in weight. Ramirez trying to go to the body. Boy. It's been all Ramirez in this round. Casimero just looking to hold on. That time he scored with a left hand. Scored with a nice left hand. We got the mouthpiece off again. Off Ramirez, I believe. 
Referee hands it to the corner. Let's have a look at the action there. Oh boy, yeah. see that left hook throughout that mouthpiece. Now, when a fighter deliberately spits out his mouthpiece, just like Keith Thurman did, he needs to get a warning from the referee. But if a punch dislodges a mouthpiece, just like what happened, no warning. Strong body shot there from Casimero, and Ramirez holds on. The referee breaks them up. Now, maybe that's what Casimero needs to do. Attack the body. Yeah. You're right, he seems to be going for the knockout upstairs. But we know how effective a body shot can be as we see the end of round nine. That's a tough round to score. I thought that overall Ramirez was scoring more punches and then the big left dislodging that mouthpiece. That could have turned things around in that particular round. There was the upper cut score. Ramirez gets through. Yeah. And then, there. oh, that big left wow. hand God. coming out of nowhere, dislodging that mouthpiece, and then the shot A to the body. Solid left hook there to the body. And, and did you see Ramirez double up after taking that shot to the midsection? There we see the MPBL staff of Senator Manny Pacquiao. Everyone is on its feet here at the San Andreas Sports Complex. What a battle it's been. Well, we called it the showdown in Manila. Living up to expectations, Diane. Everybody's so excited to watch this main event where so much is on the line. Exactly, the right to fight Tete of South Africa, the regular WBO Bantamweight champion. Well, you know, this is very reflective of the Mexico versus Filipino duels. And what about this body attack now? Oh, boy. By John Riel Casimero. He seems to want to finish the fight in this round. Can he do it? Ramirez seems to be folding up here. But he's fighting back. When he's taking those shots oh, to the midsection, wow. he's grimacing in pain. Giving it his all, as you see, uh, Coach Nona Neri egging the Filipino on. Take my hat off to Ramirez. He's taken a lot in this fight. Now there's blood coming out of the right nostril of Cesar Ramirez. Again, a shot to the side of the body by John Riel Casimero. Ramirez is feeling the hurt yes. on his body. There's a... Oh. Ramirez is not throwing too many punches now. He's fighting defensively. He's looking to survive. But if you're Casimero, you can't be too careful. Those punches being thrown by Ramirez have no impact whatsoever. Yeah, he's just, he's lost he's his just sting. going through the motions. Yeah. Clearly, the sting is gone. Clearly winded, Cesar Ramirez. But he's still letting his hands go. Oh, wobbly legs. He's ready to go. Oh, Casimero just itching to launch here. There's, Looking for the yeah, opening. Ramirez has little left. But for Casimero, one shot to the midsection. That's what he's looking for. A shot to the side of the body. But make no mistake about it. Oh, down, it's down, it's down. And I think it's out. It's so over. That's it. Oh, what a well, we beautiful knew it was ending to this fight. We knew it was going to happen. He had very little left. Oh. And flat on his back. Unbelievable ending. What a John Riel Casimero. What a fantastic show there from the Filipino John Riel Casimero. And the Mexican Kenito is still on his back. Whoa, what a fight. Oh, he yeah, took though. a lot of punishment. Yeah. But you know, the Mexican warrior that oh, yeah. he is, he did not surrender. No he surrender. He fought until the end. He fought until the end. Give a lot of credit to the Mexican. He fought his heart out. He took a lot of beating. He went down three, well, 
three times before the final knockout punch here in round 10. But he came into this fight looking very confident. He was very cocky. He went out there to try to win, but John Riel Casimero, just too much firepower. Let's have a look at that knockout punch that sealed the win for the Filipino. Big shot right there, Boom, and then right. the right hand. Mouthpiece off. Pushes him back and then boom. Solid right it was. Nothing left. The reliable and his right. eyes were gone. I was actually oh, looking boy. for a body shot to end it. But you know the situation presented itself. Wide open for a shot and John Riel Casimero. You know that killer's instinct of Casimero is something that will bring him back to the world championship throne. Yes, Casimero loving this win in front of his hometown. Fellow Filipinos celebrating. Ramirez is still, yep, they're helping him up now. We can see uh, Mayor Bube Fernandez and the crowd gives him a strong round of applause, which he deserves. But Diane, make no mistake about it, John Riel Casimero was pushed. Oh boy. Did Not exactly to the limit, but he was pushed. He had to dig deep. And the crowd helped him a lot. Senator Pacquiao watching. And so with that win, I thought that was, a, that was a convincing knockout victory for Casimero. He now advances to challenge the WBO Bantamweight champion Zolani Tete of South Africa. And if you count the number of knockdowns that he has scored, I thought one of the knockdowns was a slip. I thought the referee uh, yeah. might have made a mistake. I thought that was a slip too. And now we're going to turn you over to the ring announcer to announce Casimero as our winner for tonight. Take that back. They're going to give uh, Ramirez some time to recover in the ring. And meantime, Casimero there acknowledging the cheers of the crowd here at the San Andreas Sports Complex. And so, Kenito, this fight with Tete is uh, supposed to happen in 90 days. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 23 seconds of the 10th round, we have a winner by knockout. And still the WBO Interim World Bantamweight Champion, Cuadro Alas, John Riel Casimero. Once again, there's a I mean, he must be feeling on top of the world to be to win that kind of a fight, Kenito. Three, well, two, knock, two knockdowns and then that final um, knockdown in the 10th round. Well, I thought he, he fought a very smart fight, Diane. Um, I thought in the fifth round, he gave it his all to try to score a knockout, the same thing in the seventh round. And then he paced himself. There were some rounds where he coasted and just wanted to conserve his energy for the last attack. And, you know, it happened in the 10th round. John Riel Casimero just had a lot more left in his tank than Cesar Ramirez. He went out for a knockout and got it. Casimero had to dig deep. And there, Ramirez here thanking the crowd for their support. Well, he did his best, fought his heart out. El Perico, nothing to be ashamed of.
in a celebration mode here for the Philippines at the San Andreas Sports Complex. A fantastic win by General Casimero. Kinito, I mean, after scoring three knockdowns in round three, five, and seven, he finally finished off the Mexican in the 10th round. Well, congratulations are in order to all the winners, actually to all the participants of this highly successful showdown in Manila, brought to you by MP Promotions. Senator Manny Pacquiao himself was here to grace this event and to witness the proceedings. As you were saying, John Riel Casimero, he put his A game in the ring in this one. Manny, but he had to dig deep. It was a tough, tough fight. I mean, the Mexican came here to fight. He was well prepared. He gave it his all. But in the end, it was still Casimero's power that prevailed. And so now he will be have the opportunity to become the regular bantamweight champion. How do you think he's going to fare against Tete of South Africa? Well, Zolani Tete is a very slick champion. I think he's a very experienced fighter. But I don't think he can take the power of John Real Casimero. One thing I noticed, though, about Casimero in this particular fight was that not only did his offense, not only did his firepower was in, was in full display, but also his intelligence. Oh, I thought he paced himself very well in terms of trying to make sure that he had enough gas in his tank for the home stretch. That's exactly what happened because Cesar Ramirez in the 10th round had nothing left. John Real Casimero still had a lot more to go. Well, we hope you enjoyed this boxing. There's still going to be a lot more boxing in the future MP Promotions fight. Diane Castillo here. Kenita, it's been a pleasure once again. And we hope to see you again next time. God bless. Mabuhay from the Philippines.